Forgiven by Amanda Porter. I forgive you for how you made me feel, for pretending it wasn't real. I forgive you for what you did when you were just a kid. I forgive you for all of your crimes because most of them were mine. I forgive you for putting me through hell. When I think about it, I forgive myself. Mirror Image by Nina Soden. I looked in the mirror the other day to see if I was ready to go on my way. But what I saw was not my face. It was someone else of another time and place. She seemed so sad and blue. I could feel her pain. I knew I wanted to hold her and tell her it would all be okay that I would not go, that I would stay. But then I noticed how much she looked like me. It was something before I could not see. Her eyes were so red and swollen. And her smile had somehow been stolen. Her hair was a mess, her makeup all runny. If she weren't so sad, it would be almost funny. All of a sudden, out of the blue, she began to cry. And I did too. We cried and cried. Our feelings we could no longer hide. Then I looked in her eyes and she in mine. And I knew that we would both be fine. I washed my face, put on my makeup. And she looked great when again I looked up. I smiled at her and she smiled at me. We'll get through this day, just wait and see. I looked in the mirror the other day and I was ready to go on my way. Kin by Chloe Long. The ground doesn't know what you look like, but with mud smeared on your face, you'd think you were her kin. And the sky can't hear you sing, but with how your voice carries, the wind knows the melody. And the trees will never feel your touch, but rough skin like bark makes the crocodiles jealous. The earth will stitch you into herself, pulling you to the core, sinking to the molten lava center. The earth will swallow you whole out of envy. The earth will wrap you into her bosom to smother you. The earth will send tsunamis after you, earthquakes to tremble you, and hurricanes to intimidate you. The earth will not have you rival her mastery of beauty more than you already have. The earth craves for your countenance. To look like you would be her greatest wish, broken ribs like broken branches, palm leaf veins thick with blood, boiling hotter than springs in the mountains. See, Mother Nature is not interested in competition but you are beating her at her own game. With spitfire lava words spewing over her peaks, she cowers, her leaves tremble to the echo of your footsteps. And when you swim in her waters, the frogs go silent just to hear you wade through the silt. To feel the vibrations of you splashing in the water, rinsing off the impurities you've accumulated, but mother nature consumes your faults and makes them her own. The cold of night parts, for your breath and the heat of day parts for your sweat and the touch of your hands to any part of her body, the earth becomes still and calm. She knows to submit to someone like you.
A Dream by Edgar Allan Poe. In visions of the dark night, I dreamed of joy departed, but a waking dream of life and light hath left me broken-hearted. Oh, what is not a dream by day to him whose eyes are cast on things around him with a ray turned back upon the past? That holy dream, that holy dream, while all the world were chiding, hath cheered me as a lovely beam, a lonely spirit guiding. But though that light through storm and night so trembled from afar, what could there be more purely bright in truth's day star?